Hey, what's up? In this video, we're going to prove that x cubed is uniformly continuous on the open interval 0 2. Before we do the proof, uh, let's recall what it means for a function to be uniformly continuous on an interval. So in this case, f of x, or f, is uniformly continuous In this case, it would be 0, 2, so on 0, 2, if for every epsilon greater than 0, we can find a delta greater than 0 that depends only on epsilon, such that for every x and y in our interval 0, 2, whenever x is close to y, so if we have x minus y, less than delta, this should imply that f of x minus f of y is less than epsilon. So it's very similar to the definition of continuity, except that in uniform continuity, the delta can depend only on the epsilon, right? It cannot depend on uh, a value of x. So before we do the proof, uh, we actually have to figure it out. So let's do some scratch work. So scratch. So we'll have an epsilon greater than zero, and we need to find our delta. So we're going to need delta. So we need delta. And we will have x minus y less than delta. That's something we can work with. And this should imply that f of x minus f of y is less than epsilon. So we'll have f of x minus f of y. And we'll have to show that this is less than epsilon. Well, f of x is just x cubed. And f of y is just y cubed. And so when you see x cubed minus y cubed, the natural thing to do is to try to use the difference of cubes formula. So the difference of cubes formula says that this is x minus y times, and then x squared plus xy plus y squared. Then you can just take the absolute value of each piece. So this is the absolute value of x minus y times the absolute value of x squared plus xy plus y squared. And this piece can be made less than delta, so that's okay. So this will be less than delta. And what about these? Well, all of these are x's and y's, and we know that they're in 0, 2. So all of them are less than 2, right? So x is less than 2, and so is y. So times, you can just replace x squared with 2 squared, so it'll be 4 plus, and then 2 times 2, that's 4, and then y squared is also 4, right? Because x is less than 2, so x squared is less than 4, and xy is less than 4 as well, right? They're all less than 2. So 4 plus 4 plus 4 is 12, so this is equal to 12 delta, and we want that to be less than epsilon. So what we can do is we can take delta to be epsilon over 12, right? So if we do that, um, the 12s will cancel, and we will get our epsilon. So that's going to be our delta in the proof. Let's go ahead and formalize our proof. Let's write it formally. So proof. So to start our proof, we'll start by letting epsilon be greater than 0. And then we will choose our delta. So our delta is going to be equal to epsilon over 12. Okay, now we have to state this here. So then, for all x, y, in the open interval, 0, 2, with the distance between x and y being less than delta, we have, and so now we look at the distance between f of x and f of y. So we have the absolute value of f of x, minus the absolute value of f of y. And that's equal to x cubed minus y cubed. So we're repeating a lot of the same steps. And that's equal to, this will be x minus y. And then this will be x squared plus xy plus y squared. And again, we can break up the absolute values, so no problems there. This will be equal to the absolute value of x minus y times the absolute value of x squared plus xy plus y squared. We know that the absolute value of x minus y is less than delta, so this is less than delta. 
And we know that this second quantity here is less than 12, right? This is times 12. And delta is equal to epsilon over 12. So this is equal to epsilon over 12 times 12. Boom, and we get epsilon. Wow, barely enough room to finish the proof. So, uh, so we've proved it. So given uh, an epsilon greater than 0, we found uh, delta greater than 0, such that for every x, y in the open interval 0, 2, whenever the distance between x and y is less than delta, the distance between f of x and f of y can be made less than epsilon. And that completes the proof. That's it. I hope this was helpful.